done, a lot of people ask about, constantly ask, like what do we do with the leftover microgreens? Um, so we actually, I'll show you, I'll break it down, but we actually have quite a bit this week because market got canceled for us. I actually let it slip by, I didn't get recertified. So we're waiting on the city to come and do an inspection. But anyway, um, I'll show you what I do with all this. Yeah. This is going to be especially fun today because it's nice and cold. Ooh, I gotta go shut something off. <laughs> So this is our wash table. Some people have been curious about how we wash our trays. This is it. So, you know, it takes a little bit of skill with the pressure washer because you can send it flying, but if you hold on to it the right way and you hit it in the right direction, you could actually use the pressure to spin the tray around. So check it out, enjoy it, love it, like it, all of that good stuff. This is the only time I really use that is for this process. So sometimes it just happens, but you know, you never want to run into having this many leftover microgreens. But if you do, make use of them. These are going to go to a homestead, farmstead thing where this lady's going to feed them to her animals, but uh, she didn't want to be on camera and I'm not going to show any of that. So this pretty much explains what we do with leftover microgreens. So pressure washed all the trays, got them all soaking in the hydrogen peroxide and water. Now I am gonna plant out some electric daisies. So these are all grown in one inch rock cubes and rock wool. And then I plant them out like uh, two inches apart through 10, 20 trays, top them off with some fish meal and uh, soil. 